On today's vlog, we're gonna talk about electric guitar. But first, I gotta sleep. Good night. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up. I had a good sleep, and I hope that you guys had good sleep too last night. And now I'm gonna get ready to go to the office, and then we're gonna go to the office together. Okay, so see you. Okay, so I'm done getting ready for the office. Now I'm gonna eat my breakfast, and then I will go to the office. And then after that, we're gonna start talking about the fun part of the day. So traffic's not so bad today, it's still good, it's still good, and I'm on the way to the office, so see you in the office. So I'm in the office. I think today is gonna be an interesting day. But first, I gotta work, and then after that, we're gonna talk about guitar. We're gonna meet somebody special who's who has something to do with it. Okay, so see you in a bit. In about an hour, we're gonna meet that person that I was talking about, and we're gonna talk a lot about guitar uh, this afternoon. But first, I'm gonna eat some lunch, and then we're gonna go there to meet that person. Okay. Traffic so far looks okay, and uh, we're on the way back. I'm gonna drop my things, and I'm gonna pick up my guitar, and then we're gonna meet that person. Person that I was talking about, his name is Mas Olga. So he's a luthier. He makes guitar. He also repairs guitar. He lives not too far from where I am, and we're gonna talk about guitar, and we're gonna talk about specifically my custom guitar so it's gonna be an exciting day i'm building a new guitar for myself it's gonna be something really special and then you're gonna be able to see it later okay so i'm gonna talk a little bit about my custom guitar also later okay <music> lunch I'm gonna pack up my guitar and some other things and then we're gonna go to Mas Olga place and then we're gonna talk about guitars okay I'm back from Mas Olga's place and we really talk a lot about guitars today and uh, how they're made and this and that. So the reason why I went to Mas Olga's place in the first place is because I'm building a custom guitar and I will announce it in the future like how is it going to be and what the specs are and how is it going to look and whatnot. So stay tuned for that in the future vlogs. But now I really want to talk to you about guitars. So my favorite guitar ever is a Fender Stratocaster. I love it so much. This guitar right here is a Fender Stratocaster. There are a few reasons why a Fender Stratocaster is my favorite guitar. First of all, it's the most versatile guitar ever because it has this pickup configuration. So this is not the standard Stratocaster. I obviously modified it to have a humbucker on the bridge. But with this pickup configuration, you can pretty much play everything, including metal, or even soft ballad, or even country, or rock, or whatever. You can just play anything with this guitar. Second is the neck. The neck is very easy to play. It's very versatile. It's very comfortable to play for a long time because it's a C shape, so it's pretty easy to play. You can play comfortably on the lower frets, but you can also play very comfortably on the higher frets. Third reason is its body shape. So it has a cutaway over here, over this area, so that if you play, your right hand doesn't kind of hit the body. You know, it's slightly contoured right here. 
it's very comfortable for your right hand okay and then also on the back here you can see there's a big cutaway on this area so that when you uh, play it standing up it's not really hitting your body there's no like sharp angles or sharp edges that really gets in your way and you can just really play easily you know it's very comfortable it's very good for playing live as well as in the studio so that is why i think the stratocaster is the best guitar for my personal taste i've been using stratocaster since 2011 and i still continue to use a stratocaster even until today and i'll keep using it until forever i guess this particular model is the made in mexico model stratocaster it's a fender standard stratocaster i changed the pickguard to a mirror acrylic finish and then i also changed the pickups to the marzio i take away the tone knob and i just uh, use a single volume knob that i label as a tone knob and also on the back i put a locking tuner so that it stays in tune when i do the whammy bar thing you know a big reason why i use stratocaster is because it's very easy to play anything with it it's very flexible you can pretty much play everything with the pickup configuration and with the addition of a tone knob you can really make it sound like a hum humbucker guitar which is very difficult to do for a humbucker guitar to sound like a single coil guitar but on this particular guitar i took away the tone knob and just use a single volume knob so that it doesn't really have a tone circuit the main benefit for that is that i get more power out of the pickups so that it uh, goes straight to the volume and then straight to the output so that it becomes really powerful when you play you can really kick your amp really hard with this kind of setup but the downside of that i no longer have a tone knob so i cannot really adjust the brightness of the pickup so it can sound very trebly and harsh so that's a downside for me but overall yeah i really like this guitar i think this is the kind of guitar that will stay with me for life you can play blues you can play rock you can play jazz you can play this and that even metal even gent okay but don't don't tell anybody even gent okay so yeah pretty much anything you can play with it however there are some things that are limited with stratocasters for starter the fret only reaches to 21 or sometimes 22 and i need a 24 fret guitar because sometimes i play really high up there and i want to get the high e note right there which this guitar doesn't have so i really want a stratocaster with the 24 frets and then also sometimes i'm required to play acoustic guitar in the church sometimes or during live session like if i uh, play on a live gig or something they might do an acoustic session and i don't really play acoustic guitar i'm i'm really bad at playing acoustic guitar it, the strings are big and they're thick and they're not easy to play you have to get all the strings sounding right it's just too much hassle for me and that is where mas olga comes in mas olga is building a custom guitar for me that is based on this kind of stratocaster with the sunburst finish it will have 24 frets it will have piezo system so that i can play acoustic with the same guitar it will sound like an acoustic guitar but also it will still have the magnetic pickups like a regular electric guitar so i think it's gonna be very dope and the specification is not too far from a regular stratocaster so that i can have the familiarity with the new guitar that he will build and he's a nice guy too so i talked with him about guitars we discussed so many things and it was fun it was really informative i really learned a lot from us olga and i think he's a really good guy and i really hope that the guitar that he will build for me will be the one guitar that will rule them all and i want to show you one more stratocaster that i have this is a different kind of stratocaster so this is an american standard stratocaster made in 2011 it's a really good guitar it has a sunburst finish very beautiful and very easy to play it's one of my favorite guitars that i ever own and i ever play so the main difference between this guitar and the other one is that uh, this one is american made it has 22 frets but other than that it they're pretty similar uh, this one has a different bridge so this one has like what they call a two-point saddle bridge which is more smooth for uh, tremolo playing like if you use the tremolo bar a lot it will stay in tune better and it's smoother i think then this one 
This is the uh, first guitar that I show you, the uh, Mexican Stratocaster. This one has the vintage style uh, six screw saddle. So it's not as smooth as the American two point system, but it's not so bad. I think they're pretty similar uh, and they, they did the job just fine. Other thing that uh, you might notice is that in the American guitar, the one that I showed you later, it has a uh, uh, engraving on the pick guard. So as you can see here, it has the uh, Seattle's, Seattle Skyline uh, engraving on the pick guard. So I made it myself using my laser machine and you can see it's, it's pretty dope. I hope you can see that. But yeah, those are some of my guitars and I hope you enjoy uh, our little discussion about guitar and I hope that this will inspire you. So yeah, it's dope. So yeah, it's about 5 p.m. right now. I'm about to shower, I'm about to uh, freshen up and then I'm gonna eat dinner. My sister's gonna come with her family and my girlfriend also gonna come and we're gonna spend time together for the night. So yeah, it's currently in the evening and I'm still editing the vlog and I will upload it soon. So yeah, as you can see there, I'm still uh, editing some clips. But I think this will wrap up the vlog for today. Thank you all who've been watching and I hope you enjoy the vlog. I hope that the vlog is informative for you and uh, I really enjoy making this for you. So before you go, please comment below what's your favorite guitar and why you like it so much. So I can also learn from you guys. So yeah, that's all for today's vlog. Thank you all for watching. Uh, see you in the next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.